Hi Aries, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Um, we're just going to be getting your energies or your messages for the upcoming week, um, beginning of September. So take a deep breath with me in through your nose and out through your mouth so I can send out some healing. Ready? All right, let's pull some tarot. Let's see what messages we have for you. What's the beginning of September going to look like? Page of Wands. Three of Wands. The Moon. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit everything in this. i got to move the camera. Five of Wands. And Eight of Swords. I'm going to put you on pause for one second. All right. Well, I'm trying my best. <laughs> so this is uh, the camera angle that we're, I'm working with. So anyway, let's, let's read your cards. <laughs> Sorry about that, Aries. Page of Wands. So, so Page of Wands is kind of like a young, immature energy. Um... Somebody who has like a lot of ideas, but they they might not follow through on them, right? They might be easily distracted. So um, maybe there's like things that you, you know, you have all these thoughts in your head of what you want the future to look like, um, but you're not really following through on anything to get there. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Um, three of Wands is like planning for um, a bright future. So yeah, I feel like you have all these ideas, and you're you're plan you're like in the planning stages. You you just haven't followed through on anything yet. You're not making steps to get there. You got the Moon here, which means that something is definitely hidden from you. Um, there's something you don't see. You you might be trying to figure some things out. You might be a little bit confused, might be a little unsure of something. But you got the Five of Wands here and coming up next, which is pointless, pointless conflict. So are you starting drama for no reason? Or is somebody starting drama with you? I don't know, but Eight of Swords is, has, you, has you really worried about it. Has you trapped in fear here. Hmm. Eight of Swords energy is, it's really not as bad as you're making it out to be. But you're definitely having anxiety over it. Over whatever the situation is. So, let's get some more clarifiers. Let's see where this is going. I'm not getting a clear picture of the story yet. The High Priestess. Yeah, you're trying to figure something out. Okay, Three of Cups, which is Party with Friends. Five of Pentacles. Strength. And Ace of Cups. Alright, so... Yeah, that with the High Priestess, you're definitely trying to figure something out something is definitely hidden and uh like it's you're not saying it and you're trying to use your intuition to figure it out now that three of cups is usually a celebration with friends but maybe there's a third party situation that you're worried about maybe you're trying to figure out if there is another person because Five of Pentacles, you're, you're feeling left out in the cold. You're, you're feeling abandoned. But the Strength card says you have the strength to pull through this, whatever it is, because you got the Ace of Cups, which is new love. Love begins. So, um, 
Yeah, there's new love coming. But you're really worried about this. I don't know. Let's, let's get some more cards. It's time to take action in Aries, in your sign. So what are you procrastinating about? You know, what are you, what are you waiting for? It's time to take action. You're waiting because you're trying to figure something out. You're trying to figure out what's the right move for you. Hmm. All right. Let's keep going. Story's getting clearer and clearer. Enable your life to flow with loving force. Prepare for change and move forward quickly. Expect the unexpected and have fun. So, yeah, I guess um, there is going to be some kind of a change, but it feels like it's a positive one with new love coming in. So I think that's going to pull you out of your head. Like you're not going to be afraid anymore once once this comes in. Um whether it's a person or a situation. Believe strange encounters. So Okay, so believe believe that something is coming in for you believe that it's what you want um you might meet somebody unexpectedly or you might start feeling something for somebody that you would never expect yourself to um yeah i feel like you're just gonna i mean something is hidden so I feel, I feel like you're going to get either an idea or something that's going to come to you in an unexpected way. Self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. So if you have to break free from somebody, now's the time to do it with take action, right? Don't be afraid of it because love is coming in. So don't be afraid to fly solo right now because you're going to be okay. Hmm. Let's, I'm throwing a romance card. Let's see what... Look, you're going to have chemistry with this person. So I guess this is a, a person coming in for you. You're going to have chemistry. All right, let's get our last three cards and then we'll throw some charms on this and see where it takes us. You got reassess. All right, so this is saying, take a step back, look at the choices that you've made and figure out if this is what you want. You know, it, it kind of makes me feel like you, you've been going around in circles or like, you know, going down the, always going down a dead end. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you need to move forward. You need to, to make a change to bring something different in your life. Stop going around in circles. Well, I, I just keep feeling like somebody's going around in circles. It's crazy. All right, what else do we got here? Man holding a coin. So abundance abundance is coming um, into your life. Either you're going to be getting um, money coming in or you're going to meet somebody, maybe a financial advisor or something, or somebody with a lot of money coming in for you. Um, you know, could be a woman holding a coin too. Gender is fluid. 
Um, but abundance is definitely coming in. So you got love and abundance. Um, abundance of love, maybe. Hmm. Look, manifestation. Yeah, you are manifesting. You are definitely manifesting um, something amazing coming in. I think that you are trapped in fear right now, but you are letting the universe know what you really want, which is good. Just make sure, just, all right, sometimes we have to be careful when we manifest, like, be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it, <laughs> type of thing. Um, so make sure, make sure it's everything positive, right? Um, maybe, make sure you're requesting positive change, not negative. All right, let's throw some cards. I mean, let's uh, charms. Let's throw some charms. And see. Let's just see what we get. All right, looking good. Aries, you're looking good. Look, you're going to be happy. You got the smiley face. Oh, love is in the air. You got Cupid. Love is coming. And here's another heart. So definitely love is on the horizon. And you're going to have chemistry with this person. And again, look. You got the hot air balloon. So that's saying, see the big picture, you know? When you go up in a hot air balloon, you can see for miles, right? So take a step back and reassess what's been going on in your life so far. And, you know, figure out what you, what direction you really want to go in. You got uh, the snowflake and, can you see that? I'll put it up there. The snowflake, it didn't really help much. And, um gingerbread man so something's happening in the winter time something amazing probably and then the, your last charm was the the chakra thing so this is just saying that you, you might need some healing right now so um try to ground yourself try to get your uh chakras in balance if you can and uh yeah this is what i got for you aries i hope it helped in some way if it did like the video if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. I enjoyed it. Till next time, love and light.